Hello everybody, Maven here, and the Recluse is one of the most iconic weapons in Destiny 2 history. Aside from the mountaintop, it was definitely the second most hyped into the light weapon. But I'm gonna be straight up blunt and honest and say do not waste your time farming this weapon, and in this video I'll explain why. So let's get to it, hope you enjoy. So let's start by taking a look at the recluse's possible roles here. And in the first column, the best option is going to be subsistence, which is good. It's an S plus tier perk, in my opinion, on primary weapons. Some people might make the option that you can also use repulsor brace for void builds, but I would argue that. I did do a video recently testing out all the best legendary primary weapons to pair with Gear Falcon's Hauberk to determine which one is the best. And in that video, I explained how Repulsive Brace has big anti-synergy with Volatile Rounds. And if I'm gonna do a Void build, it's gonna be based around Volatile Rounds. And the fact that if the enemy dies to the Volatile Rounds explosion and not the actual weapon's bullets itself, then it will not proc Repulsor Brace. And the whole point of this perk is to save your life in a pinch, and if it doesn't activate when I need it to, it could be a deadly flaw. So I would say Subsistence is gonna be your safest bet in the first column. And in the right side column, you got some options here. You could technically go with any perk besides Tap the Trigger, that's not really a PvE perk. And I would personally eliminate target lock. That's not going to be the most useful at a 900 RPM SMG as opposed to something like a machine gun. And I would also eliminate surrounded. Some people love this perk. Some people live and die by this perk. Personally, I really don't like it because 95% of the time it's not active. And now I will admit there's an argument to be made for destabilizing rounds for void builds, but and I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but I've been playing Destiny since the beginning. And what I've learned from over the years is that you really want a damage perk on your PvE primary ad clear weapons, because if you don't have a damage perk, they just feel weak. Now, I've said this in a lot of my videos, but in my opinion, Frenzy is the greatest damage perk on PvE primary weapons right now. 15% uh, bonus damage that doesn't go away if you don't get kills, you just gotta stay in combat, and it gives you plus 100 reload speed to make the gun feel extra crispy. However, we do have to do some testing today because we now have access to Master of Arms as well as Desperate Measures. So we gotta try those out and see how they hold up. So Master of Arms is as though Golden Tricorn and Harmony had a baby, except the damage buff never exceeds 15%. It used to be 20% back in the day, they nerfed it down to 15%. Only lasts a few seconds if you get more kills. You can extend it up to a maximum of seven seconds on the timer. You can get kills with the Recluse itself or any other weapon, just kills in general with any weapon will trigger Master of Arms. So it's great that the perk is extremely easy to activate and it's not bad if you're mowing down very weak little trash mobs, but the second you come up against an enemy that's not gonna die in one magazine, you're gonna lose your perk and have to reproc it again, as opposed to something like Frenzy that stays up as long as you're in combat. So you could be shooting a major all day long. It doesn't matter if you kill him in one mag or 20 mags. You're gonna keep that Frenzy buff the whole way through and also get plus 100 reload speed to make the DPS a lot better. So in my opinion, Opinion, Master of Arms is eliminated. And now we are moving on to Desperate Measures, a brand new perk. It says weapon final blows grant bonus damage, melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. Now this stacks up to three times, each stack giving plus 10% bonus damage. Now this perk is very weird and janky. Here's how it works. So you get a weapon killed, you get a stack, right? You get plus 10% damage, but additional weapon kills will not grant you more stacks. You actually have to go and get those melee or grenade final blows. And by the way, melee or grenade final blows grant you two stacks. So you can get a kill with your weapon and then proceed to go and get a grenade or melee kill and you got three stacks, you get plus 30% damage. And it lasts the same amount of time that Master of Arms does. It's a refreshable timer that goes up to seven seconds. However, if you try to obtain your stacks the other way around, it will not work. For example, if you start off the engagement by getting a grenade or melee final blow to get two stacks, if you get a weapon final blow after that, it will not give you your third stack. You only get a stack on a weapon final blow if it is the very first stack you get. Like if you have zero, you can only get one with the weapon final blow. So you're probably gonna wanna start off by getting a weapon final blow and then getting the melee or grenade final blow later. So this perk is a little bit weird to activate, but will give you the best damage buff out of all the perk options. I mean, besides surrounded, but this one you can actually keep up by slaying out a bunch of trash mobs with it. But then again, it has the same issue as Master of Arms. You go up against a beefy major, you're not gonna kill it in one mag, you're gonna 
going to lose your damage buff, and then you're back to having just a little BB gun in your hands. You got to have that damage buff constant, which is why Frenzy is so good, because it does not go away like these other perks do. So if you want my advice, I would say Subsistence Frenzy is the end-all, be-all PvE recluse god role, and that's a very, very strong role, one of the best roles you can get on PvE primary weapons. But Maven, didn't you say not to waste your time farming the recluse? Yes, because the funnel web already exists and it also gets subsistence and frenzy. So what? They're the exact same thing. What's the difference? Not only does it have one more base round in the magazine, which very slightly helps with subsistence, but the origin traits are different. You gotta remember that. So the funnel web has the Viced Stinger origin trait. So the Viced Stinger origin trait will just randomly reload 10 rounds back into your magazine. And I would say it procs basically every other mag. And if you're going up against a fatter target, the funnel web is gonna do more sustained damage than the recluse because you're gonna have that larger base mag size once that Viced Stinger procs. And if you're ad clearing trash mobs with it, it could be the difference between picking up the kill and then procking subsistence again and getting another other kill, whereas the recluse at that point would have just had to reload and be like two kills behind. So in my opinion, it really does make a big difference. Now what about the indomitability origin trait? It says if final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when playing a darkness subclass. So I tested this out to see how effective it was. I went on arc, I had a pulse grenade, I had 100 discipline, and my base grenade regen was exactly a minute flat. So I went to the orrery and tested it out and I killed about give or take 20 adds and it just about halved my grenade regen. So I got my grenade back in like 28 to 30 seconds around that kind of area. But that's not a really realistic situation because these are like little baby trash mobs. They're gonna be like easier than any other mobs in the entire game. And in a realistic situation, you're not really gonna get this many kills in this amount of time. So I decided to go to the Hydroponics Delta for a more realistic test because the ads here are about five times tankier than those Nessus ads. And this place is about legend level content so we can get a good realistic trial here. And I would say we saved ourselves about like 14 to 16 seconds on our grenade regen. So it's not bad. It does something. So if you're really trying to min max your grenade regen, then it's fine. But remember that you have to be on a light subclass for the grenade regen. And I think anybody would argue that grenades are way more important than charged melees in this game. If you're on a dark subclass like Strander Stasis, you will get melee regen instead. And that's not super relevant. Like on Strand Titan, I guess it matters, but you're not really gonna be using an SMG on Strand Titan. And then Stasis Titan really doesn't care. A Hunter doesn't care because you got Gambler's Dodge and the Warlock melee abilities kind of suck. So I wanted to do this quick little run through of Hydroponics Delta with the funnel web so you can get an idea of how often Vice Stinger procs and how it helps me just like stay in combat a lot longer and just keep on shooting a lot longer than with the recluse because it comes in clutch a lot more often than not. So this is my Assassin's Cow build. This is my main build in Destiny 2 and it has been for several months now. I'm in love with it and I'm gonna play the build exactly as I normally would. And Threat of Generation is so good that I just don't even need like any kind of bonus grenade regen from Indomitable, even though it would give, you know, melee regen because I'm in a dark subclass, but still. I just don't even need it. I'm able to spam tons of grapples, like regardless, and then I'm making those tangles, getting those free grapples. I got impact induction, I got grenade kickstart. Like I don't even need Indomitable. I'd much rather have that uh, Vice Stinger so I can just stay in the fight longer. And uh, not to mention the Funnel Web just feels better. Like, like the Recluse has pretty horrible deterministic recoil and also has less zoom. So the Funnel Web feels just like way more controllable and way more easy to use. There's just something about it, man. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, it's one of the best SMGs of all time for a reason. It hits different. And as for the Recluse, if you're gonna take advantage of Indomitable in the light subclass, what are you gonna use it on? Like you're not gonna use it on solar because you'd rather use something with like incandescent. You're not gonna use it on arc because you'd rather use something with volt shot. And if you use it on a void subclass, the only like relevant void grenade spam build I can think of is Controverse Hold. And that's a build that's meant for like high end, like end game content with like champions. And so you're not really gonna be using a recluse. So for me personally, it's really hard to justify using the recluse in any situation over the funnel web. But I know some people out there might have the argument like, well, what if I don't have the Godwell funnel web? Might as well just go get the recluse, right? It's almost the same thing. 
Well, that's not really an argument because you can still farm the funnel web. It's not gone. You can focus it at Banshee with your gunsmith engrams. And if you don't have enough gunsmith engrams, they're really quick and easy to farm up. If you just take that route around the Dreaming City that was popular a while back, you can just go and do that for an hour and then you can go focus like 20 funnel webs. So that's basically it for the video. There you have it. That's my conclusion on why I feel the recluse is not worth your time. I think your time should be spent instead farming like the God Roll Edge Transit if you did not manage to get a Cataphract, or maybe the Falling Guillotine, or like the Hung Jury with Kinetic Tremors and Explosive Payload. I think those are definitely more worth your time. So let me know down below in the comments if I might have missed anything, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and a comment, because interacting in different types of ways like that really helps out the algorithm. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing, as I'm on my way to that big 50k by the end of the year, and you can help me get there. And thank you so much if you do. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. See you later.